Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. This video is part two of drawing cubes and cuboids which is the project part. So we're going to be drawing this tissue box. So what I'm trying to do in this course is just to take everyday objects that you have lying around the house that you can draw and incorporate into drawing a real object from whichever shape we happen to be practicing in part one of the lesson. So this week's is the cuboid, so that's why we're drawing the tissue box. So first of all, I outline roughly the shape. And then I keep refining it. So I keep coming in again and again and refining it. And also I'm marking in where the, the actual tissue comes out the tissue box and the shape. There's no shading at this stage because you're still trying to get the outline correct. And because I'm drawing straight lines, I have used a ruler because my straight lines aren't always that straight. I'm erasing the initial attempt and then coming in and just refining even more the line that I feel is the most correct. And just keep going over the line until you're really happy with it. I'm coming in again and just drawing in more details of the tissues themselves. There's a lot of crinkles and things and I want to get all those drawn in before I actually start the shading, including the ellipse shape, which is actually the opening from which the tissues are removed from the box. It's important to get the outline correct at the beginning because in that way you will be happier with your drawing and it's easier to erase it then rather than once you've already started shading. This sort of drawing without any shading is called a contour drawing or a contour line drawing. And if you were make, going to make a painting out of it, then the contour drawing is, is more important because you wouldn't do any shading, you would then colour it in from this stage. Next I'm going to come in and draw the flaps on the side of the box which is actually shows how the box is constructed. It's little details like that that really make the object come along. And then I'm shading or at least darkening the line where the flap meets the side of the box because it's very dark there and then coming in and shading it. Now I've started to draw the pattern on the box. It has a zigzag pattern. I'm not doing it exactly as it appears on the box. Um, I'm simplifying it a little bit just to make it easier and quicker. I have to try and give the illusion as it's going over an edge of the pattern, folding over, which is quite difficult to do. I uh, find that the pattern is kind of going off a bit 
so I'm going to add some lines just to help me work out the direction that the pattern will be going and I will use the parallels of the two end sides to draw the lines and the same with the top using the parallel of the two diagonal lines and it would just help me to make the zigzags easier. And if you think drawing is always an illusion, you're trying to give the illusion of, that something is three-dimensional when it's actually on a two-dimensional piece of paper. So you have to try to give the illusion that things are solid objects which move and bend over different planes. Now I'm coming in and shading the zigzags and then I'm going to come back and shade in the end with the flaps again, which is more in shadow than the other side. I'm just rubbing out the construction lines there. going over the zigzags again. I'm coming in and colouring the zigzags on the top and then just shading in the part, the internal part of the box where the tissues aren't present. So that will be that the darkest part of inside of the box. and then more of the zigzags. And erasing any construction lines. And then drawing and colouring in the zigzags on the side of the tissue box. I haven't worried about erasing the construction lines, but that side does disappear into the shading. What we've got to think about is what is going to be the lightest thing in this particular drawing and it's going to be the tissues because they were white so they will always want to appear lighter than the actual box so the whole box will need some shading in and you just keep going over things and refining them again and again which is the same whatever item you happen to be drawing. Just keep coming back to it again and again until you're happy with it. I'm going to come in now and give the 
the tissues some shading. And again, although they're white, you want to look and see where is the darkest part of the shadows on the tissues and try to bring those out. Whenever I draw anything, I always look at the subject first and say to myself, what is the darkest part of this drawing and which is the lightest part? And the whole time I'm drawing, I'm always keeping that in mind. Because whatever you draw the darkest, then everything else has to be shaded in relation to that. And the lightest thing, well, you can't go any lighter than the colour of your paper. So you have to bear that in mind. So if you've got a highlight on something, that will be the colour of your paper. And everything else, even if it's white, will be darker than that. Now I'm coming in and putting the shadow. Now if you remember, we said that the flap side was the darkest side of the box, so that is where the shadow will be. And it will always be at its darkest point, where the object meets the surface upon which it's resting. So you see I'm making the shadows darker right by the box, and then they'll get lighter as they go out from them. A quick last refining of the edges and erasing any points that you don't like and it's finished. Next Sunday's video will be cylinders and ellipses. Thank you for watching and if you enjoyed my video please like, share and subscribe to see more. And if you click on the bell symbol next to the subscribe button you'll be sure not to miss any. Stay home, stay healthy, stay safe. Bye!